Today's shakedown is gonna be short, to the point, and if I get it right, fodder fest for your comments about the future of racing. Two stories caught my attention as lightning rods for where racing is going. Number one, the Toyota electric car lap of the Nürburgring. Number two, the Danica Patrick racing says she's ready for the big time NASCAR career move. The question for you, which should scare you more for the future of racing? That green racing is coming or that Danica is here? Boo. Next generation of performance is here. Royal Purple's new high-performance street motor oil, HBS. Fortified with zinc phosphorus anti-wear protection, HBS exceeds the demands of high-performance and modified engines. Magnified, HBS improves metal surfaces for longer engine life. HBS's high film strength frees up more power, reduces heat and wear, plus provides greater protection. The next generation of performance is here with HBS from Royal Purple, the performance oil that outperforms. You saw with last week's shakedown, I'm in an experimental mode with the show. And this week, I still am. I want to try a one subject thought provoker versus more reporting on F1, MotoGP, drifting, or this week's first time Baltimore IndyCar and American Le Mans Grand Prix. We're going to that. Some more in the next show. MotoGP and drifting, we showed you on Wednesday's playlist. And what to make of F1? Well, season's over. Vettel's the champion. Ferrari's working on the 2012 car. Button's the new McLaren team leader. What else? I know, I know. But today I want to throw some thoughts onto you via Toyota's electric race car and Danica Patrick to see what you think about both stories and what they mean to the future of racing. Let's start with Danica. And to be fair, this really isn't about Danica. It's about what Danica's ascension to the top of American racing means to racing. NASCAR is the pinnacle in size, money, and media attention. So if you want to be big in racing in America, that's where you go. The problem I'm having with the Danica NASCAR move is how she got there. The new racing way. Image, marketability, sponsor backing. Uh, racing results and performance skills. I guess that's not as important anymore. Because let me note for you that the three most popular drivers in America are Danica, Ken Block, and Dale Earnhardt Jr. And none of them are winning. And I call them drivers, not racers. Because in the racing world, there is a difference, and I just name call them an insult. Maybe this fixation on image versus racing skill is only an American problem. But my point is this, if racing continues down the road of making its stars less about real racing and more about image, then the authenticity of this sport is lost. I fear that NASCAR, with this Danica push, is going to do more damage to the credentials of racing. Or am I the idiot in the room, and the extra Danica attention racing will get will grab more sponsors, make more fans, and grow the sport. So shut up, Leo, you little wannabe Eddie Jordan. Oh, and this isn't a gender thing. I'd be saying the same thing if racing was pumping up some sketchy talent pretty boy with a helmet. But enough about Mazda's Patrick Dempsey and Tom freaking Cruz in a Red Bull. On to the Toyota electric race car, which I'm tabbing the Royal Purple Different is Best Racer of the Week. I know it's really just a radical car's chassis, but it's a 100% electric, 161 mile an hour, lap the Nürburgring in under eight minutes on street tires race car. If you cannot see this as a difference maker moment for electric power, then give me your reasons why this sucks. And dig deeper than just, I miss the engine sound, or I bet it runs out of charge by lap two. In my opinion, the motor whir is very techy, and battery and regenerative technology will get electrics running longer distances. BMW is even testing an inductive charging system, like those recharging pads. So just bake it into the entire racetrack, and there you go. But like the Danica story is not really about Danica, this electric car story is not really about Toyota. It's about what's going on here to connect road car technology development to racing. And Toyota, Audi, and Porsche seem to be on it. Who else? ALMS is in Baltimore, really just lobbying distance away from Washington, D.C. And while even I sometimes roll my eyes on their green racing rant and way too many fans dismiss it, I'll include a link to ALMS CEO Scott Atherton's recent speech and say the green racing concept is sound. If racing doesn't get as relevant as it can be to the next automotive technologies, the sport will die, and the cars will become electrical appliance toasters with wheels. So for me, unlike F1's Bernie, way too many race fans, and race team owners, I do not, I cannot fear green technology as a danger to our sport. Race cars are supposed to be the tip of the spear tech sharp, remember? 
I'm more worried for racing killing racing by promoting no talents to the top echelons, turning this sport into a carnivalistic MTV show, diffusing the authenticity of racing, and losing out forever to real sports like football, baseball, and the Olympics. Now what do you think? The Irene Storm kept me from attending last weekend's Sim Raceway event at the Infineon track. They had demonstration setups for their driving sim for the media and fans, and announced the formation of the Sim Raceway Performance Driving Center via an integration partnership and rebranding of the Jim Russell Racing Driver School. This is being billed as the first training center to fully incorporate online and real world skills teaching into a single program. I've included a link to their announcement and we'll have more from Sim Raceway as we get more info and video assets. But it tells me that Sim Raceway is working hard to make a positive mark in the sport and with racers and they will be a sim to watch and experience. So there you go. I'm lying to you if I don't admit I do not like Danica. I hate her attitude. Just like I hate the way the Kyle and Kurt brothers carry themselves on track with interviews. So you know what that means. Now for me, the three drivers I hate in NASCAR are all bushes. Really? Did I just do that joke? <laughs> <laughs> one more time. No. Yeah, one more time. No. One more time. <laughs> what? Dude. What? You can't do this. What? <laughs> it's a great joke. You can't do this, man. That's too hard? That's not, that's, it's, the, it's the internet. It'll be fine. Ready? Ow, we're living in the fast lane, baby.